Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with uh, Software Engineers. If you are new, then subscribe to this channel because on this channel, I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics. So if you want to grow fast in your career within the software industry, then uh, subscribe now and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Rithik Raj. Hi Rithik. I have been placed in TCS Ninja. Great. Congratulations Rithik. Um, very good. Do I get another opportunity to upgrade my profile to digital before onboarding via Code Vita round 2 or any other contest inside TCS? Well, this question is for TCS, uh, but I think no. Okay. Why I will tell you when, when they do the fresher round. So, so let's say two lakh, three lakh people, uh, students applied for the, uh, TCS Ninja or TCS NQT national qualifier test out of that around 36 to 40,000 people got selected. Okay. They get selected out of this 36 to 40,000. TCS will itself while doing all the uh, all the um, rounds, they will identify around one to two thousand people who they think are capable for digital. They will get it within this itself. Okay, so with from that forty thousand, they will find those one to two thousand. So I don't think that uh, once you got TCS Ninja means they have already evaluated you they have made a decision that this is where you will be of course if you join tcs and you start working on your skills digital skills whatever they require for example data science machine learning artificial intelligence cloud computing cyber security or uh, devops you you start learning or, or robotic process automation you start learning any of these high paying job skills Okay, and it takes one year, two year for you to learn. Maybe you do a certification within TCS uh, if they have their own training program or you do a certification from outside. Then after two years, they will consider you not as a regular employee, but as a digital. They will uh, want people within TCS to try and become uh, eligible for digital within the company, but not that while onboarding not while onboarding after you join tcs then it is possible but while onboarding you will still have to uh, continue with what has been already given the decision has been already made okay see uh, think about this uh, if the indian team okay once once the indian team is decided 16 players they are going they these are the 16 players uh, okay now in one of the match somebody will be promoted ahead uh, three people who are on the bench will be on the bench unless somebody gets injured or something like that but once the decision is made for that particular tour the decision is made so for this round of tcs ninja the decision has been made okay you don't get into that instead of that start accept this Okay, except they see you can only grow if you start from what you have. Okay, and what you have is that you have been selected for TCS Ninja, which is a good thing because out of two lakh, three lakh people, only 40,000 people get selected, only around so I don't know even the ratio less than 25%, right? Okay, only uh, that many people are getting selected. So within that, you are there. Correct. So you are one of those people who's got selected, which is a very good thing. Okay. So now it's upon you how you work within TCS or whatever does not matter what projects you get, but how do you enhance your skills so that you can show to TCS within two years that you have these skills at that point of time, if TCS does not accept those skills, you still have those skills you can go and join some company which is ready to accept those skills okay if you really want to grow in your career 
you can look at my program how to become a players this is very important for those people who are experienced but not getting salary hikes to understand why you are not getting salary hikes thank you very much